Jerusalem, a sacred place to Jews, Christians, and Muslims. Today, it is a place of conflict between Arab and Jew. But it is not only these narrow streets which reflect biblical times and the shrines which edge them that are the cause of the smoldering anger between two peoples. The state of Israel is the thorn in the Arab side. And while one war was briefly fought and won, the conflict is far from finished. Indeed, it often seems that it has not yet begun. For Israel and her Arab neighbors are constantly suffering the tension of a simmering mini-war of attack and reprisal on both military and civilian targets. The bell tolls, but for whom? Jerusalem, for all its beautiful symbols of religion and peace, cannot know peace. Visitors to the Holy City go in their thousands to the Wailing Wall, which for almost two millennia has been Jewry's holiest shrine, a place for the Orthodox to beat their breasts and pray to God for deliverance from the suffering which has marked the path of destiny for the Jewish people. Now, praying is not enough. Even this wilderness is tenaciously clung to by the Israelis. In this troubled land, recent events, like the firing of the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the hangings in Iraq, and the time bomb in the London office of an Israel shipping company, have added even more impetus to the Arab-Jew hostility. In this land of the Bible, the threat now is of a religious war. Here, at the source of three great religions which uphold above all else peace, lies the dread of further bloodshed. Once a man went into this wilderness for 40 days to ponder the problems of mankind. The wilderness remains. So do the problems.